What's going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Twitter's trends map, a real-time look at all of the trends going on across the globe. So let's get started. So trends map, since it's connected to Twitter, is also connected to the fire hose. So this is absolutely real-time data that you're getting uh, minute by minute, second by second. And so let's just go over some of the features that TrendsMap has and why I love TrendsMap so much. So on the far left corner, we have these three little, uh, or actually four icons, and those do a quick zoom. So you quick zoom to your location, your city, your region, and then back out to the globe. So when you're in a particular area, if you would just want to zoom back out, you click up the globe or the region. So that's pretty easy. To the right of that, we have uh, what we wanted to display on the map. So we have words, hashtags, or users. So if we just want to have hashtags, we can uncheck those, and it'll just show us the hashtags that are going around on the globe. So let's zoom, zoom down on uh, Texas. The plus and minus gives us the zoom down. So we'll zoom down on Texas and seeing how they're doing. My heart goes out to them. Um, you know, this is trending right now in Houston Strong and Harvey. Uh, I can't imagine what they're going through with all that flooding. So uh, stay strong, Houston. So once you click on the trending, you'll start to see tweets here on the right-hand side. And you can scroll through these and click on the individual tweets if you'd like. Uh, one of the features that uh, TrendsMap has, a couple of good ones uh, that I like, is the Analyze tool. So it's going to keep the Houston strong that we've already picked. You click on the Analyze tool. So we can see a summary of that particular hashtag. Uh, there's 40, 43,800 tweets. There's 36,000, over 36,000 retweets, 1,500 replies, uh, 24 hours of data, 40% uh, female, 53% male. And you can create an alert on that. So anyone that uh, tweets with that hashtag, you'll get an alert. That someone used that. Down here we see a map that uh, has uh, different data points on here. So we can see the most retweeted tweets right now. We can um, do conversation and, and that'll give us the total conversation from Twitter. We can uncheck heat map. We can do sentiment, uh, sentiment score. And then we can scroll down here. Now again, we're uh, focused on the Houston strong uh, hashtag. And so uh, we can see 6.1% of the conversation is happening in the United States. Uh, country, a country is 90% uh, in the United States. And of course, the city is 29% Houston. Then we go down here, and then these are the various hashtags being used, uh, the words being used, the emojis, most emojis being used. And what source, so what uh, what device are they using? Uh, is it Twitter for iPhone, Android, and that type of thing? And then down here, it's more of the uh, more of specific things like the most retweeted, most quoted, most replied, most influencing, and then we have the top media and the top links. So a whole list of data to uh, go through just on that specific hashtag. So imagine if you're doing this or several hashtags. So right here it has visualize. That's where I was gonna go to next. And if you click on visualize, so the visualize trends map just does that. It gives you a graphical representation of those tweets over a certain period of time. And in this case, it's a 24 hour period because that's all we have with the free trial, but you get the idea. So as the, the small timeline down here at the bottom scrolls along, the tweets on the right hand side right here, they progress forward and uh, and then they just repeat until you know you stop it and then I can stop at any point I can pause it at a particular point and I can focus in on those particular tweets so I can when I focus on a tweet I can uh, get the user ID the Twitter handle and uh, and the actual ID of the of the Twitter name and I can also go visit their Twitter profile if I wanted to, like that. Go visit Ben Stiller. 
over on the far right side, we can save this visualization and we can publish it. So we could share that to Twitter if we'd like. On the data point, we can change it if we'd like. And uh, again, with the one day, with the trial, sorry, uh, we only have the one day and the five minute interval. So even if we wanted to change that, we couldn't at this point. But we could change the Houston uh, strong if we'd like. And we can also add another topic to this visualizer. Uh, let's just add Harvey. And we'll click Update. And we'll add in the, the Harvey and the Houston Strong for the last 24 hours. Okay. So now we have two lines, right? And we have uh, the green line is Harvey and, and the red line is Houston Strong. You can see a lot more people talking about Harvey than they are Houston Strong for obvious reasons. Uh, being that Houston Strong is a geographical specific thing that's happening, whereas Harvey is going to come all the way up the East Coast uh, tomorrow. The remnants of Harvey are going to be affecting our area tomorrow. So uh, further down here, we have uh, points. So we can change the range, uh, opacity range. We can change the colors if we want, uh, animation. We can uh, slow it down if we want. Uh, and we have a legend. We can show the legend, not show the legend. We can animate the legend. And then down miscellaneous, we can uh, create a title if we'd like for this uh, visualize version of Houston Strong and Harvey. Uh, last thing I want to show you is uh, alerts. You can down alerts and you can create a new alert. And you can give it any title you want. In this example, they say earthquake. So let's do that one. Earthquake. Uh, all countries. No specific areas. All languages. Interval every hour, I suppose. And we can click on active. And again, uh, uh, one of the features that the premium version has of Transmap is to connect it to Slack. Slack API, which is probably pretty neat. And then we can click Save. And then we go to our Alerts Index. And here's our Trends Map Alert. We can't create any more with the free version, the trial version. So uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is the pricing, uh, which is not cheap. Uh, the free trial is seven days. Then we have the Plus, which is probably what most people are going to use just because the price point is semi-reasonable 25 bucks a month per user and then it goes all the way up to 295 bucks a month per user or th about three grand a year f per user one of the ways i get around the pricing is to create uh separate accounts with different emails so i get seven days now that's not something long term but short term maybe something you can get away with by creating uh signing up with different email addresses for your account to get the seven day trial. If you don't mind paying the 25 bucks a month per user, then this is a fantastic tool for marketers, for security professionals, knowing what's going on in the world. If you're traveling to a particular area and you can just zoom in on here and get the trends, get the alerts, set the alerts up and, and get them emailed to you. You can share this out. Uh, you can share out share out your uh, visualize uh, and your analyze analytics. Uh, fantastic tool. Um, I just wish it was a little cheaper. <laughs> so that was a quick review of TrendsMap. I appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. If this is your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button. If you want to know more about me, go to larrysnow.me. And I'll see you in the next video.